Okay, welcome back to uh, part two of this long play, I guess you'll call it, of uh, Galgo 13. As I try and figure out, you know, where the hell I'm supposed to go. One of these again. So it appears my uh, previous assumption was right. They're not exactly scripted but they're in the same place every time. So if you go to a new part of the stage and come back, it resets. And I also retract my previous statement about them being annoying. It will be annoying, but it, it'll be helpful to get health and ammo. So they don't seem like they're too hard. I just wish I could shoot guys that were standing up. And does that jump kick even do anything? How many times am I going to go into this station? Okay. He told me to go to the uh, that's the Potsdam or whatever station. I went there. There was no one there, so I'm gonna go back to my original goal, is the Brandenburg Gate. I'm not even shooting anymore. Ugh, I'm, gonna, I'm dead again. Ugh, Frederick Station. Yes, 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 yes. Dark bullet. Trying to get a condor. Ugh, come on. Bang. Once again, shooting people that can't be shot, apparently. Oops, Alex Hotel. Hello, all our rooms are filled at present. All our rooms are filled at present. Excellent, excellent translation. I'm afraid that we're not available just now. Uh, there's so many things wrong with that. Comcap could have done a better job writing the dialogue. Okay, maybe not. Not at this. Uh, maybe not at this time frame. Later on, they would have. Horming Torpedo is probably still my favorite Capcom typo. Those of you that don't have a friggin' clue what I'm talking about, play Mega Man X sometime. Go to the. Uh, where it shows what the boss abilities are and mouse over launch octopus. Instead of homing torpedo, they screw it up and it says horming. It's nowhere near as bad as all your base, but still. You expect a level of quality. And my aim sucks. Here I am talking about quality. If you're watching this video, you're not getting quality. You'd probably expect some quality playing. Oh, hey! I shot a guy before he pulled his gun out. Like, seriously, I can't crouch and shoot. Look, I'm holding down. Now I shoot. I stand up. Is it that difficult to crouch and shoot? Alexander Station. Ooh. Green chick. Galgo 13, yep. Unless my name is Top Secret Mission. We finally met. I'm Cherry Grace, fixer group it seems. An enemy sniper is to station himself in the television tower and hit Condor. Am I supposed to kill Condor or do I leave Condor alive? Uh, M66 in the copter. Ooh. So I'm going to snipe a guy from a copter it seems. But who am I sniping? Condor or the guy that's going to kill Condor? Ooh, aboard the helicopter, Galgo 13 hits for the TV tower. Oh, Act 2, ladies and gentlemen. I finally beat Act 1. Took long enough. Oh, God. This... Ah! I suck at these kind of shooters. Should watch me do, like, a long play of, like, Galaga, Galaxian... 
Zevius. Watching me play Zevius is just hilariously bad. Something that'll probably be a trend on this. Thank God for memorization skills. As I get hit by the second one. Whoa, he spawned in a different spot, cheater. Die. Wow, God. Not fair. Damn it, I'm dead again. This is embarrassing, ladies and gentlemen. I am sorry. If there's anything that could be taken from this, you could rest in the solace that you know you'll never be it as bad as I am. So no matter how bad you're sucking it up on a game one day, you can just be like, hey, I know someone that would be worse than me. So there, if you don't get anything else out of these videos, if, you know, the entertainment value is not enough for you, you can at least rest knowing that you're better than somebody. That's what I do. Make you feel better about yourself. At the expense of my... Oh, God. Am I even doing anything? What the hell? Whew. Ow, my thumbs. The microphone probably picked up that furious tapping. Ooh. Stupid planes. So, those are stealth bombers, right? If I'm taking out a stealth bomber with a helicopter... I mean, where are the other bombs going? I'm like, is the city just being absolutely leveled below me? <laughs> oh, well. It's not my business. I have a sniper to take out from a helicopter. I'd really like to know how we'd pull that off. I think a sniper, a trained sniper, would be able to recognize that there was a helicopter positioned, you know, just kind of standing still, or standing, flying in position. Maybe I'm just taking this apart too much. It is an old NES game. I probably shouldn't look too deep into the uh, little subtle nuance. Oh god. Oh, I get to do one of these in the sky. Lovely. Die, die. Where are you at? Die, jet. Die, helicopter. When I say die, that means die, not fly away. Yay, I win. I have a lot of... Oh, God. Good thing I have a lot of ammo, because i got to take out another one of these. Yay, fast trigger finger. Ah, dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge. I think the problem with sprites in this game, if there's too many things going on, things just disappear. Oh god, tower. Better not crash into it. Approach. I guess that means D-pad. Close up. B. Snipe with A. Push start. Okay. Oh hey, it's a scene from the beginning of the game. Okay, what am I doing here? Hitting B to close up, but... Not seeing anything. It's a pretty crafty little mini game here. And that is not me shaking that bad. It's just it's to mimic uh, the sniper scope. Oh, holy shit! Did I just blow his head off? An NES game with blood and decapitation. Where am I? Okay. Well, interesting. Brandenburg Gate. Hey, I'm back here again. Die, die. This is, I'm, I'm still not sold that kick really does anything. Anyways, this seems like a good a place to stop as any for this episode. Freaking YouTube and their 10 minute limits. So uh, we'll pick up from here with episode 3.